Hey folks, my name is Sydney. I'm an open source engineer here at Langchain, and I'm super excited to introduce our new human in the loop middleware. So first let's cover the core agent loop. An agent is basically a model calling tools in a loop until it decides to provide a final response. We modify this loop slightly in order to add human in the loop. So human in the loop middleware is super useful whenever you want to get human feedback before executing your tools. This is specifically useful for tools that are either expensive or risky to run. So you can see in the diagram here, model calls tools. And before we actually run those, we conditionally run that through our human in the loop middleware node. The middleware provides a couple of different ways that a user can respond to a human in the loop interrupt. So the three most common ways are approval, edits, and rejections. So for example, if we're using an email case where an agent requests user input before we actually send an email, approval would mean we send the email draft exactly as written, change the recipient or the body of the email, and then a rejection would be rejecting the draft fully and perhaps providing a message back to the model explaining how to rewrite the draft. Let's jump into some code. Okay, so here we see our send email example. We've written a basic send email tool with a recipient, subject, and body. And then we're creating an agent with that tool. Uh, as a send email tool, we're using GT40 here and then a simple system prompt indicating that it's a helpful email assistant for me, Sydney, that can send emails. Let's simulate responding to this incoming email from Alice. We're gonna jump over to Linksmith Studio here, which is a great way to kind of interactively um, test out your agents. So we're simulating sending this human message. We'll see that goes to the model which then calls the send email tool. And then you see that email is successfully sent to alice.example.com saying, I'd love to grab coffee with you next week. Now let's go back and add our human in the loop middleware in just two lines of code. So the first change we wanna make is importing our human in the loop middleware. So from linkchain.agents.middleware, import human in the loop middleware. And then here we'll add middleware equals human in the loop middleware. And then we're interrupting on the send email tool uh, with this true Boolean. I'll also note, we do have more configuration available for human in the loop middleware. So you can specify specifically a list of allowed decisions. That's those accept, edit, reject types. Um, but for this case, we can just use that simple Boolean. Now let's go back to studio and experiment with responding to incoming emails. So we're back in studio. We see our graph has been updated here. I'll start a new thread and let's simulate responding to that same kind of low stakes email from Alice. So again, we see the streaming of the tool call, uh, but this time we actually get an interrupt raised in the human in the loop middleware. In this case, again, pretty low stakes. I think this draft looks great. So we can go ahead and respond with a simple approval decision. So we go ahead and resume, and then we see the email is successfully sent to us. Okay, now let's simulate responding to a slightly more consequential email. In this case, we're responding to partner at startup.com, asking me to sign off on the $1 million engineering budget for Q1. So we'll simulate the agent. Again, we see that action request. In this case, the draft indicates that we've reviewed and approved the proposal. I think we probably want to exhibit a little bit more restraint here. So let's simulate our edit response to a human in the loop request. So I've pasted another decision body here. This time it has type edit and then an edited action that follows the same structure as that email tool call. So the name is the name of the tool send email and then the args are the arguments that we saw in that tool call signature. So I'm sending it to the same recipient and a brief body. And when we resume with edits or a type edit decision, we should see the tool still executed just directly with these edited arcs. So the next step here should be the tool node. So we resume, we see the tool node executes, email successfully sent, and an edited body. 
For our last case, the reject case, let's again respond to this more consequential yield. So we see a draft saying that we've approved it. Instead, we actually want to feed a message back to the model, asking it to revise the draft and say that we'd like more e detail on the proposal before approval. Here's what our new response body looks like with a decision type of reject and then that message. So it looks like the model has now called the send email tool again with a revised email body asking for a bit more detail on the proposal as we asked. Again, remember, we still have that human in the loop node there, so we'll need to approve the final email before it's sent. All right, our email has been successfully sent. Thanks for joining me for a brief overview of Langchain's new human in the loop middleware with the use case of human feedback on an email assistant.